G'day guys, Ronnie Dale, Four Wheeling Australia. Welcome to a hot episode of Modified. Now someone else will say it's hot for some other reasons, but it's, I'm saying it's hot because it's 41 degrees, stinking hot, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, still 41 degrees, and we are at the secret World War II air base. No longer a secret, obviously. So you can see all the ordnance here, all the spent ordnance, these are anti-aircraft shells. We have some bomb clamps for the big boys. Then we got some other ammo cases here which used to have bombs in it, I guess. We got the big rig here. We got the old army trailer here. Torbs, jump out, mate. How you going, bud? How are you? Good. Bit hot, eh? Just a tad. So do you want to tell these people here why this is a special episode of Modified? Why? Because uh, I was number one, now I'm number 79. Yeah, how did that work out? Episode 79, Perfectly. 79 series. How did that happen? We didn't plan it at all, did we? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> episode one. So what has happened since episode one? A lot. This car has changed so much that you probably couldn't recognize it other than the silver cab. I think a lot of people can recognize it because it's been like a gradual thing. Yeah, true. If you, yeah. If you've been following it, yeah. Exactly. So what is it set up for? Uh, work mainly and touring. There you go guys. I think we get straight into it, eh? We got a lot to go through. A lot. Rightio, bar work. This is a relatively new bar in the scheme of things, in the scheme of six years. Yeah, definitely. That's been on, what, about a year and a half now. So we went the ARB big tube. Because stuff likes to jump out in front of me, so I went for a heavier duty one. And you had the factory Toyota one for four years before that? Yeah, so that was a good bar, but the bars were just a bit thin and I think the car needs a bit of look as well as being strong. So you want to change the look and you wanted that extra tube across here? Yep, so a bit of extra protection. Okay. All right, and we got the side steps on this one. Do you have the side steps on the old bull bar? Yeah, we had... Um, I mean brush bars? Brush bars, yeah, we had the genuine Toyota ones as well. So again, they were the, like the, the quite thin tube. Okay, so, so these are the AOB ones and they go from here to the side step. Yep, so it's all incorporated. All in one. I won't ask you how many roos you hit with this bar because I know the tally and people don't like that but it happens and that's why we have them. Yep. Worn winch. Worn winch. That's a new addition. How many winches have you had now? This is the second one. Okay. So. So the first one was? That was one of those super cheapy winches. The uh, Dominator? Super Center? Or? Super Center, yeah. That's super, it. super Center, yeah. Yep. And that did a righto. Yeah, it pulled you out quite a few times. So. <laughs> yeah, well, let's not go into that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? This is worn and it's a uh, size... That's the 12,000 pound Xeon Platinum. So it's all Bluetooth remote control. I can unlock it. So if you're stuck in a sticky situation, there's no fighting to get to a lock. I just hit a button, oh, releases, and you the just go. Thing? 
Yeah, like an airlock. I remember that because we used this at Morbid Hill, yes, New South that, Wales. That was its christening. Yeah, I remember that. Cool. And you got the ultra hook on with the fair lead as well. Yep. Uh, what do you got under here? Anything different under here? This bash plate? Uh, that bash plate was on there from the beginning, actually. So same one. Yep, same one. Still straight. And so, the ARB point, you had that from yep. the start as well. Yeah, from the start. That was the first thing that went on the car. Okay. I noticed you've added mounts here. So you haven't used the original ARB mounts. Is that because you don't want stuff right in your vision? Yeah, I can't get my head around why these mounts are here, unless they've used them for lights. But for aerials, they're right in your line of vision. Yeah, they are. So it doesn't like, work. And half the time we use these to knock bushes out of the way, don't we? <laughs> yeah, that's why they're a bit <laughs> bent all over the place. Is this a sand flag one? Yeah, uh, it is a sand flag one, yep. Okay. Where do you get these brackets from? That's a GME bracket, that's a unit of them bracket. That's a... Yeah, GME. So yeah. GME do the nice heavy duty um, stainless steel ones. And you painted it? Uh, it they came pre-painted. Uh, but because we do use them to knock trees out of the way, <laughs> they move a bit and the paint flakes off. Woo, looking straight into the sun yet. Sunny's on for this job. Two racks. I know the front one's a rhino rack. Yep. Because I can read it. <laughs> Is this for the single cab? Yeah, that's actually made for the single cab, that one. So okay. I'm not 100% sure on the measurements, but when I ordered it, it said single cab, so I ordered it. Can you move it further back or forward? Yes. Yeah, it just moves on these here, so you've got a, a bit to play with. Uh, have you thought about moving it back? Because your light bar's kind of hanging over there. And I've been in the car, it's a bit reflective. Have you thought about moving it back, or is it going to hit um, the roof? It's already sitting on the roof. I've actually got a bit of sicker flex between the light bar and the roof. Oh, really? Stop it from rubbing. Okay, so. well, we'll get to the light soon. <laughs> All right, so this rack here is mainly used for your max tracks and your swag sometimes? No, max tracks, that's really it. That's it. For a single cab. All right. What about here? You got, you got an awning on all three sides. Yep. So we got the back one out. Yes. We've got two sides. Yep. All the same awnings. All the same awnings. What rack is it? Uh, it's a rhino rack as well. Okay. So it's just a standard wagon size rack. That seems to fit canopy pretty good, eh? Yeah, I think it's about 1850, 1900, so. Mm. I look at this car all the time, but it's funny when you look at the details now, you can actually see where it actually lines up. Yeah. So. I'm a bit OCD with that sort of stuff, so. All right, so what goes up there apart from tools at work? Um, you got your swag up there. You've been, setting a, you've been setting a swag up on the roof lately. Yeah, because a lot of the places we've been going the last couple of days has been really windy and sand. Um, and I found being up there. And, so, and saltwater crocs. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. I don't think anybody's really thought about them this time around, which no. is a bit silly. Yeah, especially after we went to the park afterwards. Jeez. Yeah, that was... Uh, get the set of raw power of them again. Yeah. Lights and comms. What do you want to start with? Lights and comms. I'll well, leave it to you. Let's start at the comms because there's less of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. So I run two ICOM radios in cab, uh, one for our private channel and one for the, the old trucky channel when we're traveling in the roads, channel 40. Road channel. And uh, just GME, 6 dBi aerials, nice and basic, right in the middle. What about your phone booster? What is it and where is it? Uh, phone booster, I actually got rid of since last time. Uh, oh, you did? Honestly, now looking back at it, it was just didn't make any difference really. Yeah, that's what I always thought. Yeah. They don't make much difference. No, the old analog phones did, but the new digital ones, no. Nah. Okay. Save your money, get a sat phone. So the new HTX 2s, uh, running those, give them a go. I've always liked them. Um, so chuck a pair of these on and see how they go. So far they're not too bad. Pretty happy with it. They're still holding nice and strong, mm. even with all the tracks that we've been doing. So those those ones. We've actually got to compare those, don't we? Because I've yeah. got the H, HTX1, 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 yep. you got HTX2. Yep. Yeah. We've got a runway over here. We can compare them later. Perfect. Another video for that one. Yeah. I've upgraded the driving lights to LED. Okay. So they're much brighter now. They are pretty damn bright. Yeah. So they make all the difference. But, but you've adjusted them as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've tipped them down so you don't blind people through the back of their cab into their mirror so yep yeah 
and then uh, just a little light bar a across the row. <laughs> a little light bar. Yeah, so it's a 50 inch dual row yeah. LED. That's massive. It is massive. It pumps out some serious light, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I can vouch for that. I get blinded in the mirror sometimes. <laughs> no lights on the back. Got two little side lights just to light up when we're in camp or looking for camp. stuff. Yeah, you're looking for camp. <laughs> in the dark. Yep. Every now and then, doesn't happen that often? No, never happens that often. <laughs> Under the hood. Why hood? Because your nana wears a bonnet. <laughs> the powerhouse, the V8 turbo diesel, I'll let you take it away. Alrighty. So the first thing I did was I got the Perf Diesel Performance Touring Package put in. So that involved two inch crossover pipe, larger intercooler, high flow turbo, uh, dual battery system with linking ability through a BC-DC which has also got solar input. Oh yeah, 1225D. Yep, so it gets a bit of extra power into the batteries. So your linking, that is a temporary push of the button to jump start? So I've got a permanent link and a temporary link. So the temporary link is if I've been cranking the tunes a bit long the night before in camp, I can temporary link it, start the car, off we go. And then I got the permanent link, so if we're winching, I've got maximum power to the winch, because they draw a lot of power under load, so. They do. Yeah, that way I don't have to sit there and try and keep the revs up. I yeah. can run a bit longer. Uh, what else we got? We got the water cooled alternator, because Toyota oh, yeah. did a bit of a oopie. Down underneath. Yeah, and put it down a bit too low. So it's a 100% sealed alternator. Yep. And that's, you know, go through mud is usually a problem with these vehicles, but... No more issues now. No more. Uh, what else we got? We got uh, the diff breathers, which goes all the transfer case, gearbox, all mm. the diffs, everything. And the secondary fuel filter, the lifesaver. Yes, New South Wales trip. That was a lot of water we pulled out of that. Oh, yeah. So he filled up somewhere different than I did in Norseman. Um, we won't say where because, no. you know... But uh, you, should have filled up, you should have filled up where I filled up. I should have. I went for the saving a couple of bucks. Yeah. Well, when you put 300 litres in, a couple of cents is a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so. that's, that's saved your motor. It did. And the, the cents you saved, you end up having to dump later. Yep, that's right. So, oh, well. When you drain the tanks. Can't win them all, but it saved me, which was the most important mm, thing. That's it. And a catch can. Yes, down here. Got to have a catch can. Which catches the oil vapour that comes through the motor, which is also another thing with, especially these motors. Yeah, that's right. The whole lot is run by a Unichip Q4 with five different map selections. I had five different tunes? Yeah, five different tunes. I know you got some similar ones to me, but what, what are yours? Because some of yours are different. So tune number one is my Houston We Have Liftoff. <laughs> tune two is my everyday tune, just Driving, not towing anything, gives me the power I need. Mm. Tune three is my towing tune. So, towing the horse float, the boat, whatever. It's uh, just got to slightly lower so I don't break anything. Tune four is my idle up for using uh, the yes. compressor. Yep, that's the one I got. Yep. And then tune five is your factory tune. Yep. Cool. So, if anything goes wrong, tune five. It's also a good reminder, tune five, because oh, after driving pathetic. for all these years, you're like, you go back to tune five and you're like, Oh my God, taking about the tune one. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, and what else have we done under here? Uh, larger brake booster. Oh, that's your recent one, yeah? Yep. Um, you find much difference on that? Huge difference. What brake booster is it? Oh, I did my research. This is the hopper stopper one. Okay. So I did the full hopper stopper package. And um, I must admit, when I came out of the mechanic, I nearly knocked my front teeth out on the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and under full load i've had a lot of weight on the back of this yeah and it still pulls up okay that's good to know yeah anything else in here um apart from the snorkel which is the bigger snorkel yeah so bigger snorkel more air mm. happier engine let's What's close the hood interested? bonnet hood bonnet hood bonnet whatever it's hood. my car <laughs> all right close your nana's bonnet bonnet
Tires and lift. Tires with a Y. <laughs> Tires with a Y. Well, I've, I've had overseas audience point out that I spell tires wrong, but hey, the rest of the world spell tires with a Y. They do. The donuts. 315's Mickey Thompson's. I gave their P3 MTZs a go this time. 31570R17? Yes, so the 17 inch rims. So. so before we go into your rooms, these tyres, how many sets of tyres have you had now? Is this the fourth set? It'd be... You've had Toyos, you've had Nittos, five you've had... Five or six. What was the first one you had? First one we had was Kumo. Kumo's. Kumo, yeah. Kumo, Toyos, Nittos, Nitto. Mickeys. Mickeys. So four. So which is your favourite out of the lot so far? <sighs> Big Toyos. The Toyos are your favourites. Okay. Yeah. So the Mickeys, how are they going for you? How many Ks? What do you reckon? Ks, I reckon <laughs> we've probably done 40,000 on them already, at least. They've done a lot, 40,000 then. They've done well. I do run six tyres, oh, so when I rotate yeah. them. You already rotated these then? Yep. Off-road, I've been pretty impressed in all the different terrains. The only bad thing I can say about them so far is within 10,000 Ks, put your earmuffs on. <laughs> I can't believe, it was like someone just turned the volume up. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Well, they are muddy, so. Yeah. But don't expect that. Over the rest of the noise of the car. There's, aha, okay, I wondered how you did that. Yeah. And it just came off. It's so, simple. What, just like that? Yep. Yeah, so then I go on it. So that's how you get your hubs in. Yeah. You gotta take them off. Yeah, which right. isn't so bad. Were you concerned to start with? I was at first thinking, oh, here we go. I've got to pull the cap off. Actually, let's bring up that point. So on the back, on your back tire, you lost one of the cone screws. Yeah. And the nuts, and that cap actually caught it. Yep. And if it wasn't for the cap, I never would have heard that little pin rolling the around ding, inside ding, 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 ding. and pulled over to have a look. Yeah. So your I axle could have come I, out. I reckon another, well, they were all that loose, probably another 20, 30 Ks. Mm. I reckon Axel would have worked his way out. Yep. Okay. With someone else's boat on the back. Yeah, yeah. That, that was in Kananara, by the way. Mm. Long way from home. Yep. Okay. Oh, well, for those playing at home, the 3,200 Ks. Yep. Same yeah. as driving from Perth to Sydney. And Pretty we're still much. in WA. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a big bloody <laughs> state, isn't it? Yeah. Pico rims, yep. 17 inch alloys. Okay. And they look sexy. They do sit at the I will say that. They do yeah. look cool. Um, they look cool. And the most impressive part was the load rating on them. I can't remember the exact numbers, but they're probably the highest load rating rim on the market for a... For alloy? For alloy, for okay. the cruisers. I'll put a load rating on the screen, if unless you can tell me now. I, I'm, I'm only guessing, but I think it's around the 1,700 kilos. It's so impressive, you can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any chance, eh? Any chance. So negative, is it negative 25? I'm pretty sure it's negative 25. Yeah, because was either 20, negative 25 or 27. It was, okay. it was an odd number, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. In here we have your suspension. Yep. And you have standard radius arms. Yep. Um, so most of that stuff is standard, but you have all main EMU. BP51s. And out of all the suspension I've had, they just piss all over the rest. What, what suspension have you had so far? So I've had Coney's, Iron Man. You had Iron Man? I did have Iron Man. Someone gave me some Iron Man to try them. They went on, they went off. And Tough Dog, they weren't too bad. Tough Dog was one of your first ones, wasn't it? It was one of the first ones. They did well. Okay. For what we did back then, they did well. Mm. I'll give them that. But none of those had remote res though, did they? None of them had remote res. Uh, the Tough Dogs had adjustable, mm -hmm. which did make a little bit of a difference, but nothing compared to remote res and the adjustments with the BPs. You took the parabolics out and you put normal leaf pack in. Yeah, so we went the heavy duty leaf packs. Okay. We're going to take a leaf out because it's a bit heavy at the moment. All right. It's a bit yeah. rigid, you mean? Yeah, a bit rigid. So the car's a bit lighter because of the tray. We'll get to the tray, but yep. that's why you want to put a leaf out. Yeah, that's right. Okay, why did you go back to normal suspension and not parabolics? I went back to normal... Because I, I rate parabolics highly. Yeah. Oh, I definitely rate parabolics, but we were having issue with the passenger side and they were splaying. Okay. No one could figure out why. 
mm. um, and we had a pull to the left on the car. Okay. So we decided let's change them over, see what happens. Everything seems to be fixed, so we'll just go with that for now. Okay. You custom designed this tray? Yeah, so I custom designed this tray uh, with the help of Brad from Dingo 4x4. So he knocked it up for me. We've gone full alloy. Wheel guards, steel, because alloy bends. Um, stainless steel water tanks. And steel side boxes. But other than that, all of it is alley. So super light. Okay. Plus do, you know, do you know the weight on it? Um, I don't know the exact weight, but me and Nathan carried it over like it was nothing. Just two of you? Just two of us. Nice. The headboard is really thin, I noticed that, so it yep. saved a lot of weight there. Yep, that's right. right so we got toolboxes in it? Yep, so we got the side boxes. One because single cab rear fuel tank is at the rear. Okay. And identical because of my OCD on the other side. All right. Same with the water tanks up front, identical both sides. Both sides, so it's the same. Same, yep. same, but different. Same, same. Yeah, but, but different. Same, same, but not different. That's right. The Good whole... Job tray is actually 200 mil shorter than a standard single cab. Aha, uh -huh. yes, because this is sticking out. Yep. Cool. So, got much better, better departure angle now. Yeah, and for all those pointing out that this big ugly thing sticking out is ruining his departure angle, we're all aware of that. This is just to tow the army trailer which Torben is towing to work. Port Headland to do work. Yep. Righto. So that doesn't normally sit there. You don't normally no. actually tow actually when we go forward driving. Yeah. That's this, yeah, sorry. That's, right. that's more than the shin bash of that one. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nutcracker. <laughs> yeah, that is. The draw. The draw. So this is the only thing that I've got to redo on the whole. The only thing you've got to redo? Yeah. Right. Um, we, we knew there was going to be an issue with dirt. Yeah. We just didn't know how quick. Because <laughs> we can't open it here. Yeah, so yeah. The, and the dust is just everywhere. Yeah. So. There is recovery in gear in here, people, but we'll open it. We'll pry it open later so you can see. Yeah. Actually, you'll see it um, from when we recovered Benny. Oh, yeah. The That's drowning right. troopy. The drowning troopy. Yeah. In Kununurra. I still carry two spares. Um, I figure, for me, the little bit of extra weight is worth the extra security. So, I just carry two. Well, we all saw what happened to me. Yeah. The first trip I carry one single spare, I puncture it. That's right. And unrepairable puncture at that. Yeah, yeah. Which sucks. Anyway, back onto your car. Uh, two bags. These are brand new. Brand yeah. new. Um, Whoa, don't, so much dust on them. Oh, there's dust everywhere. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck two new bags on there to hide the spares from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we use one as a garbage bag and one as a storage bag. So it works out really well. What are you storing that one? Ground sheet, uh, awning, extra awning oh, attachments. So, so dirty gear. Dirty gear. Outdoor gear. Outdoor gear. That doesn't matter if it gets a bit of dust on it. And here we are. Torbs's secret canopy. The domain. This is the second canopy you built. Third. Oh, this is the th oh yeah. Well, three and a half actually, because we chopped one too. Okay. All right. Well, open it up. Ah. Oh, and we have light, and we, we need light, light because yeah. it's getting dark. It is getting dark. Now, we did get to camp before dark. I just want to point that out before you start bringing that up. Okay, we'll let you have that one. Mate. It was set up. Mate. Oh, you want a mate. beer, do you? Yeah. It's, uh, it's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock? It's past beer o'clock. All right. Well, only because it's really hot. Oh, Jesus, suction on these things are good. Try Ooh. one of these suckers. That's not a beer. Do you have a beer? No. No, try one of those. Okay. I think you'll like that. Oh, I know it is. Spiced rum and ginger beer. How good is that? You know what? Can you imagine if we were sponsored by a, a beverage maker? We would be in serious trouble. No, we wouldn't because we're responsible. Oh, yeah, we are. Actually, we'll probably get sick of the, the same beer. Yeah, that's right. You know right. what I mean? Because we're changing stuff up. You've got to change it up, mate. And yeah. mix it up. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. And cheers everyone at home if you're watching. Mm. Hopefully it's beer o'clock where you are watching as well. Oh, that's so good when it's hot. Yeah. Because what is it? 
It's still 39 degrees. Oh, oh yeah. That is nice. Mm. Yeah. Now, drink responsible. You don't want to be drinking too many drinks in this heat because it'll it'll cook you. Yeah, it'll dehydrate you very fast. Yeah, you'll be smashed in mm. this heat and you will not have a good night. No. Day, next day. Anyway. Um, oh, that's what my phone is. I may as well leave it here. Yeah. So run us through, mate. Well, we just used the fridge, so tell us about your fridge. So fridge is the new ARB uh, classic fridge. It's just been relaunched, but it's got all the fancy stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi stuff. And, yeah. and it's, it's on a slide-out thing? On the, what is it, MSA dropout slide. Because even for us, it's still a little bit high to get to the back of the fridge, so it does help quite a bit. <laughs> well, let's talk about all the bulky stuff. We'll get to the electronic stuff after, but I think yep. we need to pull the fridge out on the slide and get a bit closer to see it. Yeah. Now, there's no cameraman here. I'm the cameraman, and it's just me and Torbs on set here. So, yep. be patient. There's too many flies. Everybody else done right in this heat. We've done yeah. right in this heat, eh? But That's right. We are losing a lot. Might as well start at the coffee machine. I know I'm going to cop a lot for this. The coffee machine. Coffee oh, because that's on here. Yes. Yes. Who the hell brings the coffee machine to the bush? Me. Do you want a coffee? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually. So we'll crank that up a little bit later. We'll show you how it works. So, but how, yeah. Yeah. Coffee machine. How about tomorrow morning, actually? Yeah, tomorrow morning. We'll just stick to the cold drinks tonight. I think so. Yeah. Um, little pull out slide. Soda stream. Yeah, you gotta have a soda stream. Yeah. If you don't have soda stream, what are you doing? That's right. And if you drink too many beers if you don't have soda stream. Yep. And then just all the extra, you know, single malt. Because I don't drink wine. So I Fair enough. I drink a man's drink. Wine is fine, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. But for don't, me don't knock a good wine, mate. Yeah. Right, so this is a custom box you got in. Yep, so I designed this with Chris from Custom Installation. So And all this here is just storage? Just storage. So for For when Torwa does yoga in the bush. Oh there's a bit of a story Yeah, you got a bad back. Yeah, it's a stuffed back. Okay, it's a stuffed back, there you go. Yeah. Speaking just... of stuffed back, this back is stuffed. Yeah, <laughs> it is stuffed full of stuff. What do we got? Solar blankets, fishing gear, spare filter, spare filter, air conditioner, a lot of mangoes. Yeah, a lot of mangoes, and a lot of water. All right, let's jump to the other side, and then we'll jump back here and look at your electrical setup because that's pretty impressive. Hello, and welcome to the other side of Torben's truck. Torben, please. The second business end. Aha. <laughs> Ronnie's favourite. The travel buddy. You know, I miss this when when I'm on a trip, on a tag along or somewhere where you're not. I'm like, oh, I could just throw something in the travel buddy. I don't have a no. travel buddy. So I'm thinking about getting a travel buddy. I'm thinking about it. They, they are so worth it. We are 100% not sponsored by travel buddy and there are a few people copying travel buddy, which is quite this annoying. Disappointing. These are two guys working in the shed, right? Yeah, two old blokes working out of a shed. It's pretty yeah. much their retirement, so. Yeah. Here in Australia, so why not help them? Yep, help the battlers. Yep. Let's go, what have we got? Um, so. Hang on, before that. Uh, that's a little angle. Yeah, a little angle. Fridge freezer. And that's still a freezer. So yep. that's where the icy poles are coming from. Oh yeah, this is where I keep your favorite. Uh huh. So you think I know this? Oh, and that's where all Sausage the sausage roll. Oh, so that's where all the hidden travel body stuff comes from. Yeah. It's from that magical bar. Yeah. Oh, biggest tip for anybody out in the bush. Yeah. Okay. We got icy poles. Yeah. That is that is a good one. Next level. Frozen fruit box drinks. You've offered me those, and oh, nah, not for me. That's right. That's, that's more for me then. Yeah, it's more for you. But they are great. My when kids it's, will love that. Oh yeah. When it's this hot. So this thing's brilliant. Mate, you should have handed me a stubby holder. Oh, stubby holder. And there you go. Stubby holder. Look at that stubby holder. Oh, that's only stubby holders. They're pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to shamelessly plug them on this video. 
No, we couldn't. We don't we, do that. No, we don't. No, but they're great stubby haulers, and you can buy them on a the website, but we're not going to plug them here. No. 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 Let's just keep going on with this. What is it again? Fourwheelingaustralia.com. Fourwheelingaustralia.com. Yeah, fourwheelingaustralia.com. So. Fourwheelingaustralia.com. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You, do, you don't have to go there, but that's... You'll find them there. Yeah, you'll find them there. We'll, yeah. Yeah. But we're not, yeah. we're not plugging them. Like, no. Okay? This is... Yeah. All right. Yeah. Brilliant. Keep going. Let's go. The business end. Hey. Four Wheeling Australia. There you oh, go. Oh, that's the website where you get these from. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cool. All right. That's a killer. This is pretty cool, man. So you got like a little bottle of rum here floating out there. Looks quite empty. Oh, it's got a note in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even it's got some little secret ones. Black Pearl. Yeah. The one that people like the most about this. Yeah. Is that New Zealand still? New Zealand still there. Oh, there'll be a lot of upset bros right now. Oh. Uh, we haven't forgotten you. But no, I wanted to do something different. Mim can cut it. What's on the other she side? She cut it. Who? Mim can cut it. Mim can cut it. That's who did it. Yep. All right. That's awesome. Little bear. Yeah. Little bears. Bar. bar. Little bear bar. Oh, yeah. That's where I'm hiding all the mangoes. The mangoes. The mango <laughs> bar. Oh, you got your sticker collection. I haven't even seen this yet. No, you haven't. Where's a four-wheeling Australia one? Where you get the sub hauler from? Oh, we still got to get that one on there. Oh, we're going to get the small white ones. That's yeah, what you're small for. white ones. Yeah. So well, I've started off with the guys that we've been doing the content creator stage with. So I'm just building them up at the moment. Both from Outback Cleanups. Good legend. Bike. Absolute legend. Bed and breakfast. That bloke's good too. Bed and breakfast. Churches, Churches Adventures. I beat him in, a, in an arm wrestle. Um, Matt from Explore Life. Doesn't like getting his hair wet in a dunk tank. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Living the dream. Good blokes. WA blokes. Intense off road. Good on you, Alex. And the Mighty 60. Yep. All right. Killer rig. We just plugged so many people and things. Let's shut this and move on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I might order myself one of those stubby holders myself. Yeah, you should, you should get on top. Yeah. I'll hit you up with the website. That'd be awesome. You got a little, little nook here? Yeah, my little cubby hole. Well, I called it my pigeon hole. So. So it's going to charge phones and stuff, yeah? Yeah, it's got USB <coughs> ports, um, ingle plugs, Siggy plugs. It's even got a little red light so I can see what's going on in here because I keep all the leads and Is everything. that your compressor valve? I actually run two compressor valves. Where's the first one? Here. So I've got an Air Tools one. And then I have one that runs off the links in the front. So all yeah, my right. tyres are set to a certain pressure. Uh-huh. It's actually a lazy... Oh, so lazy. You, can do, you can do either either? Yep. Uh-huh. Drawers? Yeah, just two big storage drawers. Food drawer? Food drawer. Snack drawer? Yeah, snack drawer. Oh, can you get that out, please? Oh, they're, they're Ronnie proof, they're clear tops. Oh, damn. You forgot to close it, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look what I got. Oh. From Cowboy, Australian Cowboy. Australian Cowboy. Peppered Biltong. Kananara. This stuff is the bomb. That bloke's a legend. I've got to give Jimmy a plug here. Grab me gear bags. He has done a pretty good job with these clear tops. And they oh, Jimmy. fit perfect. Oh yeah? The custom, eh? Yeah. Yeah, nice. he does custom stuff. So anything yep. you want, he can do it. Especially if you want custom. Yeah. All right, well, moving on. Moving on. Top drawer. Whoa, just the high top drawer. drawer. Yeah, the high top drawer. <laughs> You know exactly what they're for, don't you? Yeah, so you don't have to listen to my Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another solar blanket. Yeah, so I carry two solar blankets. Very nice. Oh, the boom box. Oh yeah, the boom Let's box. Let's get that ready. Yeah, we'll get that ready. So it's out, it's charged, ready to go. All right, is this shoot done yet or what? <laughs> nah, nah, we're no. still going. Still going. We're still going. All right, it's a lockout. See, the heat. Really? I've only halfway through my beverage. Yeah. And it's already getting to me. Shocking. Cheap night. Oh, and. Here's one. I don't know if you've seen this. We've got the 240 volt power points installed as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Who did the installation of that? Oh, some awesome sparky. Hotspot electrical, actually. So. Kept the bugs away, mate. Yeah. Look at that. The flies just disappeared. Yeah, look, they're gone. No, no. <laughs> actually, no, this, this does actually help. Um, remember in Kananara? Oh, how good is that? It was like a million, and then it was just 20. Yeah, it worked really well. Coolio. All right, let's... Oh, um, oh and a 
simple little hack. I had so many people oh, at the old paper towel thing. Yep, the old paper mm. towel on a rubber band. We are going to talk about Torben's electrical system. There's a lot going on here, so get your notepads out and follow closely. Now, we're not going to go into too much detail, but we'll give you enough detail. If you've got any questions, Torbs will be on YouTube answering your questions down below. Yep. Um, and if he gets a lot of questions, then maybe we do a segment just on that. Take it away. Your display just went out up there too, on screen saving right. mode. Yep, so the whole back of the canopy is run by Red Vision from Red Arc. So I can turn everything on and off, lights, uh, the pigeon hole on the other side, which I showed you, which is controlled from here too. Okay. Travel Buddy, your favourite. Yeah. Uh, fridge in the back. There's other programs. Got the inverter. We've got a, running a 2000 watt inverter. Fridge in the cab. For his coffee machine. Oh yeah, for the coffee machine. I mean, that coffee machine uses over 130 amps. <whistles> yeah. A lot of people, unfortunately, get this mentality of 12 volts means low voltage, low current. It's the, it's the opposite. It's 10 times. Don't fall for that one. <laughs> you start fires. Moving on. Uh, what have we got here? So we got 2000 watt inverter, the um, Manager 30. BMS 30, yep. BMS 30, which is running the Red Arc Red Vision, okay. which is like a, a computerized switchboard. The Red Vision runs the back of your car because it can't run the front of your car. And the Lynx runs the front of your car because it can't run the back of the car. So you've got two separate systems running the car. Yes and no. The main reason I set it up as Red Vision in the back and Lynx in the front is because the canopy is actually lift off. Okay. So it's completely separate. So all I undo is two Anderson plugs, lift it off. Dual compressor linked to an air tank for the air tools. And then an individual... Um, outlet for pumping up the tyres, which is operated by the two solenoids so they can mm. read the pressures. And it's all run by a 150 amp lithium battery. 150 amps lithium, which means you can use, how much that can you use? About 120 amps usable, yeah. roughly, That's off the top of my head. A lot of power. It is. At 13 volts. At 13 volts, yeah. And that's all stored up inside the, the box up there because it's super light. Brilliant. All right, as I said, we're not going to go into all the little technical stuff, but if you want that, comment down below and we'll see what we can do for you. Yep. Because there's a lot of wiring going on here. There's a lot. That needs its own electrical video. That way you can see how he's hooked up the coffee machine, how all this stuff works, and how he's able to make it run neatly like it is right there. Yep. Welcome to the little bear cab. The little bear cab. The, the little bear cab. It's not actually that little, no, it considering isn't. it's single cab. Man, it's actually pretty freaking hot in here, so let's just get this yeah, on. Yeah, it is a bit warm. Get it going. Yep. Right, where should we start, mate? Oh. There's a lot going on in here. Well, let's start up high and work down. Roof console. Roof console. Yeah, so that's just an old one I've had since day one, and I've adapted a aluminium plate for a shelf. You've had that for donkey years? Donkey years, yep. How long is a donkey year? That is a good question. If it's anything like a horse, three years. Comment down below. How long is the donkey year? Yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, okay, so we covered the overhead console. We covered the first radio, which is an Icom 400. Yeah, 400 Pro. 400 Pro. And the second Icom is the latest one they brought out. Um, shocking. I don't know what number it is. Okay. But. Oh, your rear camera. Can you put the other one on? Yeah. Hold this. I'll be right back. G'day, mate. <laughs> Where's that one? The top one? Yep, yeah, top one's on. G'day, mate. <laughs> oh, and in case people are wondering why Ronnie looked a little bit funny in that, is because it's actually running off night vision at the moment. Oh, right. Yeah, so it'll make you look sort of ghost like. Cool. Yeah. Freaky, actually. Yeah, well, I'm not pale anymore. I'm bloody, I'm red, red like a beetroot. Yeah. Oh, look at this. What's going on down here? We've got a whole center console thing happening here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, I have had a brief look at this. It's so tidy in here, man. This is really tidy. Thank you. Um, so this is a fridge. Yep, so that's the Bushranger 17 litre. Oh, look at that. 
drink. Jaws with tomato sauce. We all know how much they charge for a little squishy thing in the servo. No way. Four of those, you got a bottle. Torbs is a tight ass. No, I'm a tight ass. He's a tight ass. So this is your navigation system. Yeah, so a 10 inch tablet with the um, HEMA app. Okay. So. You know, I am least informed in what's happening inside the cab as opposed to the whole vehicle because I haven't been inside the cab very often. That's cool. All mm. right. Uh, this stereo is sa it's the same old stereo? Same old Pioneer stereo I've had since day one. Okay, where's your second radio, by the way? Uh, second radio is under the dash. Okay. And where, well, what is this? So that's the ARB link system. Oh, that's the links thing, okay. So that's how I control. I mean, this one here, I can set my pressures. No compressor's turned off, there you go. Engine must be running. There you go, I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. I can't run the compressor unless the engine is running. All right, so you just learned something new about your own yep. thing. That's right. That's how cool it is. I will turn that off. So I can, yeah, set it to 42, plug the hose on, and it switches off when it gets there. Yep, cool. So I can sit back and have an extra soft drink. Okay, so you have a tyre pressure monitor sensor thing here? Yep, so that's all built inside the tyres. And now I can keep an eye on my pressures. Jimmy handheld. That's a oh. cool one because it's got the mic. You've got the mic hanging off it. Yeah, so that's... The old... 10-4 rubber ducky. So there's a the uni chip with the file map select. You're currently running Tune 3 because you're towing the army trailer. Yep, that's right. Righto. What is this? Is this a Whitney Houston switch? No, that was uh, my existing setup had a f two extra fuel tanks with a 12 volt pump and I could flick the pump okay. on and when I'm happy, we run the PDP gauges. So I get the scan gauge up here because that way I can look straight forward and my eye can just catch it. So there's okay. no having to look down on the dash all the time, it's right there. Look at that, the water temp is still 40, 50 degrees. That's crazy, man. And it's we've been parked here for so hours. So freaking hot. What, what seats are we rolling here? I had Commodore seats in a Toyota. Commodore seats. But I'm looking at upgrading these to what, either... What, Falcon seats? Yeah, <laughs> Falcon seats. <laughs> no, I'm going to either go Stratos or Recaro because of my back injury. You shouldn't do ballroom dancing. You wouldn't have put your back out. Yeah, but if you knew how to dance properly, we wouldn't have had the accident. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Quick on the toes. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> that one backfired. <laughs> Love it. Before Q&A time, got a bit of a surprise for Torps. These are bugs around here about the size of magpies. Got bread. Dinner time. For the snaggers. Lovely. Oh, before we start. Snap. What's with the cup? Oh, you like pink? Cheers, mate. Yeah, pink? Cheers. It's more orange with this liquid in it. Yeah. Oh, bottoms up. Skull. Skull. Ooh. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, Q&A. So let's start with... How many Ks have you done? Funny you say that. I will probably clock over 300,000 tomorrow. Oh, really? Tomorrow? Yeah. I think I'm maybe 80, 90 clicks off. Oh, I'm not sure about tomorrow, but I don't think we're doing that many Ks, depending on... Yeah, if you get us lost again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nearly 300,000 Ks. Yep. Awesome. Plus 15% there for about a year and a half. Okay, you've done 100,000 more than me. More than that, actually. Yeah. I'm only just coming up to 200,000. That's, that's she's, a whole heap of Ks. She's only just run in. That's no one actually knows how long these motors will run for yet, mm. which is the interesting thing. That is interesting. Mm. But you haven't had any hiccups with your motor, have you? Touch wood. You're, you're only on the fourth motor. <laughs> no, no. Same motor. No. Mm. Considering what we do, the problems <clears throat> I have, they're just all driveline issues from... Working hard. Working real hard. 
So what have you broken on your cruiser so far? Well, we've twisted an axle, done a front diff with the rear we hit in Tamworth, alternators, which is a given. Yep, and a couple you sorted of that one out. And bearings, crush the occasional bearing. What would you say is the worst thing about your single cab cruiser over the past six years of hard work? The worst thing? If we had to go anything, the worst thing, it would be not being able to decide how to finish my build. Keep going and doing it over and over and over again. Fair enough. Every time I finish it, I go, yeah, that's I'll pay it. That. Yep. It's not it. What's the best thing? Best thing would have to be the uh, electrical, the way I've done it now. Okay. All the, the high tech stuff that's in, because I'm a, I like those techie sort of things. Coffee machine, travel buddy, 2001 inverter. Being able to switch everything on and off from my phone. You know, there's nothing worse than sitting down in your camp chair with a beer and go, bugger, forgot to turn the light off. I can actually do that too. You can do that yeah. too? Yeah. You don't need it, do you? No, nah, you don't need it. No. I could, I could, yeah. I could do without it, but because it can do it, I've got it. Why not? Yeah. They're finally sizzling. I can hear it. Yeah, that's just for the heat from the uh, atmosphere. What's the worst situation you've been, been in in this vehicle? Is it the Coff Sabre one? Is that the worst oh, one? The worst situation. How far down are you? Just get down here. Stress levels are rising. You running, Ronnie? I'm trying to run it. Too. Oh, when you see me, you'll understand why I'm asking for you to run. Bobby. Uh, just a wee bit tucker moment. I think this is the worst angle I have ever been on. Yeah, cough Harbour, morbid would be the worst situation. I think that's the closest I've had to actually rolling the car. Okay. Um, what, is the mo what is the biggest surprise your vehicle has done? Like, you surprised of it at its performance to do something or... It, when has your vehicle surprised you? One was recently over in uh, Lifco. Doing oh, this. following those crazy bloody patrols around. Yeah, following those crazy patrols around here, we are thinking not a chance. And we actually did 99% of everything they did, yeah, we and did. we got out unscathed. If you asked me that question, and we were doing my modified, yeah, I'd say the same thing. Yep. Yeah. And my second one was, because there was two, uh, this one did impress me. It, I will admit, it's, it definitely wasn't legal but I towed nine and a half ton with this and it handled it like it was a truck. Maybe that's when he twisted his axle. <laughs> <laughs> but what, the capabilities they have, I'm, I'm very impressed. Okay, uh, regardless if you keep this or don't keep it, what is the next vehicle? Ooh, what is the next vehicle? What are you thinking right now? Right off the cuff, G-Wagon. Yeah. G-Wagon? Yeah. Okay, the ute or the wagon? Oh, you I said G-Wagon, so it's wagon. Yeah, G-Wagon. So you I go to so. a wagon from a ute? Well, they've just released the ute as well, so... so everything's the same except it's a ute. The Mercedes, so you're going to sit next to me and you'll be like, nose up in your Mercedes. Nose up? On what do they come? Coffee legal? machine. Thirty-five inch tires with portals. Oh yeah, but that's a concept car, isn't it? Oh, it might be. Comment down below. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a concept car, and that yeah. is a six-wheel drive you're talking about. It was actually a four-wheel. Was it? I saw it at the Sydney show. Oh. And apparently, it comes standard from the factory. And please let me know if I am wrong and was misinformed, but. Apparently it comes straight from the factory with 35 inch tyres and portals, legal. Far out. Even if he is right, just tell him he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite beer? What's my favourite beer? Oh, Great Northern. 
How's that for a subject changer? Yeah. I thought you like IPAs. I like IPAs, but for an everyday beer, Great Northern. These are Harry's beers. Cheers, Harry. Cheers, Harry. We got a couple more to go. Yeah, oh, I've put half a carton aside for him. <clears throat> we'll cut that bit out. Well, I'll, put a, I'll put a few aside for him. No, we, we lost those. <laughs> they fell out. Oh man, it's so hot out here. If we drink those, we are rooted. Where else are we going to go? If it rains, we're stuck here. I think you both know that. And there's thunder storms all around us. I haven't seen any lightning for a while though. Yeah, it's stopped for now. All right. This is a very different q and I think. It is. Well, we can't do a standard one because we've done it before. This vehicle, six years, a lot of changes. What are your top three mods right now? And you know this question was coming, so you must know. Top three mods? Definitely the suspension, number one. Okay, that's a um, strong statement. It, it's a, yeah, very strong statement. Um, I have been so impressed. Number two. Two, and I've only run it for this trip, but I have been so impressed, is the new rear brake system. Okay. That, they have just been amazing. Suspension and brakes. Suspension and brakes. I thought it would be a coffee machine. That's, so extreme. That's number three. Really? Coffee, coffee. machine. Sus <laughs> Suspension, brakes, and coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Didn't see that one coming, did no, you? No, I did not. No. N and none of them, none of them. The worst mod you have ever put on the vehicle, it can be in already still, or can be out. Which is the worst mod over the six years that you've done? The crickets. It would have to be the transfer case bash plate. And I don't have yeah. it anymore. The worst mod? Worst mod. It was a 20 kilo steel plate that oh, bolted. Oh, so you changed the factory one. I changed the factory one to this large plate that protected a large area. Mm -hmm. It was so heavy and never hit. So I, I would personally say that was my worst. Okay. What was your previous vehicle? Just, I don't know what it is, but. Hilux. Yeah, SR5. Yeah. Dual, Dual cab. cab. <laughs> Dual cab. Oh, an extra cab. I got one more question for you. When will we see you back or modified. Will you be back in another 79 episodes? Because you've done all these changes again, or is this it? Are you going to change much more? If you're listening, Tysha, there is no more mods. That's his wife, by the way. Yeah, there, there will be changes. There, to what? I love the light weight and the design of the tray that I've done. But in the back of my mind, I've got these little images of just, just little changes oh that kind of go next Here level. Here we go. Yeah. I think this fellow needs to buy another car. No, 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 no. It'll be cheaper. They keep doing this. Nah. So we'll see Torb's back in episode <laughs> uh, 158. One there you go. 158. 158. You did your maths pretty quick. I did. Mm. Yeah, not, not bad considering it's stinking hot. Uh, fourth beverage. Be fourth, jeez. Is it fourth? I don't know. Third? I lost count after the snaps. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah. Cheers, mm. mate. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Cheers, guys. Cheers. See you later.